I'm going to talk about, uh, in four minutes, uh, what Iranian women writers have done for what we are seeing in Iran these days. Should I let my hair loose in the wind, I will allure even the gazelles in the field. Wrote Tahir Quratul Ain, the Iranian poet who unveiled herself in 1848 and caused a furor. Tahir was declared a dangerous woman, a heretic, a harridan. And of course, she was sentenced to death. She was strangled with her own headscarf and thrown into the deep of a well. Strangling has a double meaning in the Persian language. It means to suffocate and to silence. Well, this particular strangling did not lead to silence. To the contrary, generations of Iranians sacrificed life and limb for desegregation, for women's visibility, voice, and mobility. Iranian women writers and poets, I believe, have been at the forefront of this moderating, modernizing movement, relying solely on words and believing in nonviolence. These women gave voice to their body and body to their voice. Sharnush Parsipur, who was imprisoned repeatedly for wielding the pen, describes this violence of erasure. I was entering the depth of darkness, the deep of the sea. I felt cold. I was becoming an absence. I wanted warmth, I wanted love, I wanted light, I wanted presence. I screamed, why do you always keep me in the deep of the sea? And listen to what Guli Taraki, another talented novelist, has to say about that. I made a rope made out of words and pulled myself from the depth of darkness, from the deep of the well. Small wonder then that Simin Behbahani lovingly um, named the lioness of Iran believes that to stay alive, women have to slay silence and invisibility. So what we're witnessing in Iran, my friends, is a leadership revolution, but one which began decades ago. This revolution is shifting age-old hierarchies of power. It is also redefining masculinity and femininity in millions of homes and in millions of hearts and minds. And that, to me, is a real revolution. No leader, no regime can strangle or silence this kind of a revolution. This is a renaissance, my friends. This is a rebirth. So allow me to finish with the words of uh, a favorite poet for many Iranians, Furukh Farukh Saad, who said almost prophetically, this is not about fearful whispers in the dark. It's about light and open windows and fresh air. It's about everything useless.
burning in the fire. It's about a field pregnant with a new crop. This is about a reaper.